Hello everyone and welcome to California. So today I thought of uh, making a special video uh, about my Red Love uh, apple. Uh, this is a very rare and hard to find apple. I, actually, this is my first time to, to see this kind of apple here in the uh, United States. So I got this from Home Depot last April 2020. Uh, as a birthday gift for myself and then when I went home I tried to search for it um, I don't even know if it will bear fruit here in uh, California so I tried to search it and uh, I, I learned that it was uh, a, um, developed by a Swiss apple breeder uh, Marcus Kobelt he's from uh, Switzerland so when I learned that he's from Switzerland and uh, you know how, how cold it is there, I thought, will this uh, ever bear fruit here in California? I mean, I had uh, some thoughts of uh, returning it, but then I said, oh, it's a birthday gift for myself anyway. So if it bears fruit, then good. If not, then charge it to experience. So, uh, these are not uh, like any other apple. Uh, they are not only red outside, as you can see. Uh, they're just uh, very small, but they're so tiny. But uh, look at them, they're already red. But uh, they're also red inside. Um, I think these are a cross pollination of uh, Royal, Gala, and Brayborn and the other secret red flesh varieties. But I think, I read this uh, in one of uh, Mr. Cobalt's um, article, or I think I saw it in YouTube, that um, he had the crab apple. Um, I, I, I don't know how, how, I think this is how the crab apple looks like, but I think I, they're, I think they're very sour, so. I think that that's where he got the that uh, red uh, coloring. Uh, anyways, um, these are resistant to scab and they're very resilient. I mean, uh, I have an um, an uh, what do you call this? A Fuji apple at the back, and I have a lot of uh, fruit uh, f uh, falling off from the trees at the smaller than this when they're like this size I, I get a lot of uh, fruit falls from it and so I was thinking oh I, I if I get the uh, one apple from this tree then I'm happy enough but uh, look at how many uh, uh, how many fruits it gave me so this is a very compact uh, apple uh, I think it was really developed to be dwarf and oh, <laughs> I just uh, had to put this to weigh it down because I, I don't want it to grow and look at that <laughs> I don't want it to grow that tall so I had to put uh, some weight and then some uh, um, wires here just to let it uh, fall down so and the, the the one characteristics of this is that the flowers were pink a dark pink like they're like fuchsia and they were so so uh, beautiful i mean uh, with all this uh, the fruits oh and Look at this. So, uh, from the Red Love, this is the Red Era of the variety. I think he has like um, four or two, six varieties of the Red Love. So, eat fresh or used for baking, cooking, or cook and cooking. 
so the 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 flowers are like like this i have another video uh you can check it out uh that i think that has uh, flowers on that video that one has the flowers uh, on it so it really has the pink uh, flowers and i'm so excited to just to see the inside of it and they said that it's it's super super um, sweet so look at this I just have to put these bags I don't want the insects or birds or um, squirrels to go ahead and make a feast of my uh, fruits so look at them Aren't they beautiful? I told a friend about this and she got excited so she said, oh no, I'm, I'm going there. I'm going there to Home Depot. And uh, when she went there, uh, there were no, no, no more trees available. Uh, when I got this, I think there were only two left they had no fruits or oops sorry i cut it off never mind it has no fruits or flowers at the time i got it so i said okay next year i'll i'll i'll, I'll wait for your flowers and then after was it a month or less than a month it started to bloom flowers and i was so wow look at that I was so really excited about it and the, the flowers were really something you know it's, it's like the myrtle myrtle something flowers or the, the, the big tree and they're, they're they're so beautiful it's like five feet tall or five and a half feet tall but I it, it's on a 25 gallon uh, pot so I and I think he he, he likes the uh, his uh, his uh, place in here a little um, yeah it's morning sun and then the afternoon sun comes from there so he gets also afternoon sun but at this time by four o'clock the sun is blocked already because of that uh, house next to us so there you go I'll give you an update before I pick them up maybe I can graft this also to to my uh, remember my I have another apple tree at my side yard which has uh, like three fruits on it uh, Brayborn I think I can graft this here there. Oh my gosh, look at that. My friend from the next uh, in front of our house, she's a Japanese lady, a very very uh, nice lady. But uh, she's been here for like uh, 50 years. And uh, she saw this one time. They were still small. I said, and she said, like, what are those? I said, apple. No, that can't be apple. <laughs> she was like, no, they're apple. No, those can't be apple. I have an apple too. Mm. She has this, I think, I think Washington apple, something, the red ones, the 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 real red ones. But she she said, no, my my apples doesn't uh, turn red until they're they're big enough and ready to be picked up I said no this are this is a different variety I said oh, oh. <laughs> look at that if I let this uh, go up it will be like uh, seven feet or more or maybe about seven feet 
so I thought of uh, um, weighing it down and tying them to this. So there you have it. I'll update you when I'm about to pick them up, okay? Thank you guys and please, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and God bless everyone.